you were thinking about swapping out that V-hole for a pontoon boat? Well, truth be told, driving a pontoon boat is not a heck of a lot different than driving a V-bottom boat, but there are some special considerations to take into account. Here are three tips that will help you be a better captain when you're running a pontoon boat. Number one, consider turns. Most pontoon boats lean out or remain flat instead of banking like a V-hole does. The outward force can catch some people unawares. The bottom line? Before you make a sharp turn on a pontoon boat that banks outward, warn everybody. Tell them to hold on. The second thing you need to be aware of is that it is possible in many cases to flood the deck of a pontoon boat by digging in the bow. Now, how does this happen? Often it's the result of weight distribution. If you have a bunch of people who are sitting on forward lounges, uh, it's made even worse if you have the engine trimmed all the way in, which pushes the stern up and the bow down. In this kind of scenario, if the boat's at rest are moving slowly and you suddenly nail the throttle, you can get that deck to dig in. And the next thing you know, everybody's feet are going to be wet and gear is going to be floating around on the deck. So, always be aware of just how the weight is distributed on a pontoon boat and make sure to check the trim before you get up and get on plane. The third thing to be conscious of is windage. Remember, pontoon boats have those tall fences. They're flat surfaces. They basically act like a sail, and it can be really hard to turn a pontoon boat with its bow going into the wind. It's especially true at slow speeds. Making downwind maneuvers will allow you to turn in a much tighter area. Okay, so you ready to go captain your own pontoon boat now? I hope so. And using these three tips, you'll be able to drive it that much better.